Greetings and salutations everyone, Crimson Nero here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, uh, we got the long shot and we defeated Dark Link. Um, yeah, sorry about the random cutout again in GarageBand. I seriously need to find out what the heck is the deal with that, if not just get a different recording software. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. And in this episode, we're going to hopefully finish up the Water Temple. I'm in an oopsie. I was almost leading you on to think that we were almost... I know we had to make water level changes times that we didn't need to, but you know what? All we had to do was just change it so that we on third level, which I think it was before. So yeah, uh... Wait a minute. Seriously, am I just not doing this right? Uh, where's the edit undo button? I could have just saved myself an entire thing if I... Ah, I... You know what? Because I need to go down there anyways, I'm just gonna go and do this now! Okay, there we go, there are the iron boots. So, let's go all the way down to the first floor, because we can now finally go to a place that we couldn't before. I believe there are two more things we need to get in this dungeon. One would be the compass, and one would be the boss door key. Or the boss key, whatever it is. Anyways, now that we have the... Wait a minute. This is another small key I need to get, isn't there? I'm pretty sure there is. Uh... Yeah, there is. Okay, so I just wanted to unlock this door. However, we're not done. Uh, wait. Okay, now I'm getting confused. There's one place that I still have yet. To, I, and I, I still have to do something. And that requires me to change water levels so I can hook shot over to a specific place in a specific amount of time. And then there's this place, which I need a key to do stuff. And then there's like all... Uh... You guys followed me all the way from the middle, uh, from the central room, just to attack me. You guys are dedicated. Jeez, you should win the minion of the award. I uh, minions of the year award. Seriously, you guys come all the way from the middle room just to get me. Then again, the middle room's right here. Anyways, that's beside the point. The point is, I'm trying to finish this today. Again, I'm very, very sorry. I mean, seriously, we've gone through. 35, almost 36 episodes of this Let's Play, and we've already had three episodes where GarageBand has stopped working just randomly. I'm very sorry about this. I can't really help it. I'm, I'm trying to investigate it, but you know what? Just some things you just don't really see coming, and that's one of them. <sighs> Luckily, in the last part, I was really just trying to end off the episode, so you really didn't miss much. Okay, now I need to see where exactly I need to do the uh, hook shotting. Would you just leave me alone? Yeah. So there's supposed to be a certain room or a certain wing that we can go to that requires us to uh, hook shot over to the other level. Or, what am I trying to say? So there's supposed to be this place, hopefully on the second floor, erg, where you have to hook shot over to, you have to flip a switch, and then you have, wait, is that it? Yes, it is, thank you. Also, it's rather, um, it's rather helpful if you actually put the water level at this level so you can get so you can look straight on at this place. Okay, so. That's gonna close soon. Make sure you have the long shot and fire. Okay. 
Now make sure that you uh, push the block, or push any sort of blocks to where they are, and to where this one is right now. So then you can do that. And you can get, I'm pretty sure this is it, the final small key. I don't have the dungeon map, so I want to know, but yeah, make sure that you have that. Uh, yeah. We go up here. Okay, now we can finally go back to uh, the place where I was about to go to, but then I realized, oh wait, I still don't have a another dungeon map. Alrighty. Right over there. You open the door, get on the floor, everyone do the dinosaur. You die. Sweet. I could use some more arrows, that'd be fine and dandy, actually. And my aiming is horrible. You know, forget this, I'm just not even gonna try anymore. I can just outswim these guys for all I care. Just as long as I don't get pulled in by these stupid vortexes! Goodness! There we go. Ah, stingers again. Remember the? I remember these guys. They used to be in uh, Lord Jabba Jabba's belly. Well, if you go back there, they probably still are there. But yeah, just wait for them to come up and just heck, slash them with your sword. Why go to the enemy when they'll just go to you? Oh my goodness, hearts galore! Anyways, why go to the enemy when you can just bring the enemy to you? Also, this is not a real wall, because not only can you tell because of the texture, but also the fact is if you hit it with your sword, it makes the weird sound, thus indicating you can detonate this place. Also, this one is clearly marked with a hole. Therefore, bomb it with your bombs. Take this block, push it over here, heave-ho, Link, heave-ho. Now come on back over, and we want to push, I push slash pull this block over to the switch which is in the water. Yep, it's one of those switches that needs to be weighed down constantly while we go and make progress. Go, Link! Go, Link! Go, Link! Yeah! Uh, Water Temple. You and your shenanigans. Making some parts interesting, other parts furious. I uh, furiously. Fur. Fury inducing, let's go with that. And also some parts which are just boring. I'm not saying that's a bad dungeon, it's just that I can see where other people can really get irritated. Take out my sword, and now we have to do some jumping. Okay. Now this place. Remember what I told you guys about? Yep. Uh, no. Okay. Good. Yep. 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 Okay. So remember what I told you about the having the small keys. Make sure that you have one because you won't be able to make any sort of progress unless you have one. So make sure that you followed everything I've showed you. 
Or if you can find a better way to do it, well then, go for it. Do what you guys do. Do what you do. I don't know what you guys do. Ah! Don't care. Stop targeting him. Or her. Or it. Whatever it is. I don't care. Just make sure they have a key here so you can open this door. Now we have the boss key. Heck yes. But where the heck is the compass? I've been- I've missed the compass in the fire temple! And I'm gonna go back for that in... Uh, before the end of the game. And now I'm missing the other compass in this temple. Goodness. Actually, let's check the map and see what places we have and explore. That would probably help. Uh, that unfortunately is not gonna help. You know what? I'll come back and get that one later, too! Wait a minute, I also need to check if I've collected all the Golden Scholars. No, I haven't! Blargy! Why you no give me a hundred percent game? Okay, do I go out this way or do I go out the other way? It's this way. Yay, I made the right choice. Seriously, I have no... Where the heck is the dungeon compass? Almost a dungeon map. I have the map! I just want the compass so I don't have to come back here and even though I'm still missing Golden Sculptula, why? Whatever. You know what? I said I was gonna be done with this temple in this uh, in this uh, uh, this video, and you know what? I'm gonna be done with it. At least getting through the boss part of it. And unfortunately, I forgot to go and make the water level. I I forgot to do the thing. Wait. Yeah, I I went down there. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. I've been in every single room, how the heck are- I will be in every single room, yeah, I still have to go up, I still have to go and go to the one room, but seriously, how the heck did I miss the other golden sculpture as well as the compass? I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, I mean, I've been in every single room, I've pretty much checked out everything there is to check out, so yeah, what the heck. Oh, wait! I remember! I remember where the other gold skull shell is because I forgot to pick it up because I didn't have the proper equipment at the time and I went a different way. Okay, so... Hopefully I can get back to the third level. Yes, I can. It's right over here. I need to go back to the place that had those moving platforms which I, you had to hookshot onto. That's my... Which is right before the room where we fought Dark Link. You have to go get that golden skull chill. Oh, wait a minute! I... Okay. It's not this one, but I remember how to get the compass. It's just a fact of finding the right room. You That's right, you give me multiple hearts. need more arrows. Hopefully, luckily I don't need them for the boss. I should probably go get a quiver upgrade sometime soon. Yes, you can upgrade your quiver. Okay. Okay, so I know where the last gold sculpture is. And I have everything I need to go actually fight the boss. However, I just want to get the compass just so I don't have to come back to this dreaded place ever again. Trust me, I trust me, people. We're almost done. We're almost done with this place. If I wasn't do a, I'm doing a hundred percent run, I would just say, you know what? Forget it. 
But in this case, I'm kind of obligated to go and get it. Uh, I know I'm not going the right way to get the Golden Skull Chiller, but I just want to check... Thank you. I want to check over this way to make sure that I have the... That I'm going... That I... That I, I want to go this way just so I make sure that uh, the compass isn't this way, because this place has the whole moving the... Uh, thing... Moving the chess... Uh, ah! The thing with the stuff and the blahs, I can't think of commentary. When you move the... Stop appearing out of nowhere. When you move that block... On... Over there. Okay. That's all I wanted to say. Now let's get out of here, because I want to go get that Golden Skullchilla, and then hopefully... I'll just go fight the boss, and I'll hopefully come back to this place. <laughs> Yeah, like that. Well, yeah, like I'll actually enjoy coming back to this place. Like I want to come back to this place. Uh, not really. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll I'll at least you do you the favor of going to get the golden skullchilla. I'll at least give you that. Seriously, how the heck did I miss the stinking compass? See, there it is, right on the wall. You need the long shot for this, so make sure you have it. And shoot. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's every single one in this temple. Yes, it is. Hot diggity dog. All right. So, how about we go fight ourselves a boss? Why not? Yeah, as much as I would like to have actually gotten the, uh... As much as I would have liked to have gotten the, um... The compass, I can always just come back for it later. Okay, room before the boss room. Yeah, make sure that you just... Okay, this place is... Yeah, hopefully... A hookshot, maybe? Nope. We run like... We, we gotta run this! Like a man! What? Ugh. Yeah, pretty much just gotta go straight. You can't really roll or anything, and hopefully I can make it up. Ugh. These stupid things are just on different times. Okay, let's do this. You jerk! Really? I was right there! And you denied me that! Okay, good. Let's do this. Time to fight the boss. Nero, look out! This isn't normal water over there! Or that isn't normal water over there! What are you talking about? Seems normal to me. Wait, something's in the water. It's first person view. It's gonna attack me. It's like a horror film or something. You can see my sword! You can see my sword before you can see me. This monster is emerging from the water, what could it be? Wait a minute. It's not something in the water. It... It is the water! Giant aquatic amoeba! Morpha! Okay. So, you can fight this guy the hard way, or the normal way. Here's my way. I don't know if it, I, I don't know if it works for the um, for the Master Sword, but it definitely works for Big Goron. Pretty much whenever Morpha comes out of the water, and I mean the little like red eyeball. 
Just stand in the corner and bring it to you with the uh, with the long shot. Make sure that its glowing core is hit with the long shot. You drag it to yourself, and then you attack it with the uh, with your sword. Essentially, if you stand in the corner, I don't think he can actually catch you. If you stand in one of the corners, it can't reach you. Seriously. What? Well, seriously, I'll probably just go through the rest of this boss fight and most likely not take any damage. Hopefully I don't. But yeah, it's, it's really a foolproof plan. If you're taking a lot of damage, this is a good way of making sure that you uh, stay... Uh, that you don't take any more damage. Morpha, Master of the Water Temple. It has absolute control of water. Pull it... I pull out its nucleus and attack it. Well, you, well, if that's what you're gonna give me, then why don't you just tell me the I tell me the ending of Star Wars? All the remakes. Seriously, Lucasfilm, why do you have to remake all the Star Wars films? I mean, I'm not, I'm not even a fan of Star Wars. I don't even watch the films. But seriously, you redo the same six movies all the time. You're mine. Yep. And there goes Morpha. Relatively, if you fight it the normal way, it can be a little tough. But if you fight it the way I just did, well then you can just make it an easy walk in the park. Like I said, no damage. So there you go. If, especially if you're trying to do a no damage run. If you are, well then, there's a hint for you. If you already know it, well then, good for you. Alrighty. And we have finished the infamous Water Temple. Don't worry, I'll come back and get the compass later. Don't worry. And we return to the Chamber of the Sages to meet the Water Sage. Oh, spoilers! The Water Sage is Ruto. Who would have saw that one coming? Not me. <laughs> yeah, I did. Nero. I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. When's that gonna take? Another seven years? Jeez. As a reward, I grant you my eternal love to you. Okay. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. Oh. Well then. I guess I guess I'll just go look for other girls. After all, there are more fish in the sea, boom tish. Yes, I just hurt everyone's souls by making that pun, and yeah, it was blatantly obvious, but you know what? I'm gonna use it. I have to guard the water temple as the sage of water. And you... You're searching for the Princess Zelda. Ha! You can't hide anything from me. Princess Zelda. She's alive. I can sense it. I can sense it. So, don't be discouraged. I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. Fine! And if I don't, then the world explodes. Oh. But in all seriousness, we have our fourth medallion. Awesome. The water medallion. Ruto has combined her power with yours. Add your power to yours. Yep. If you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Will do. Yay! Lake Hylia is returning to normal! As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Nero, you did it! Oh. 
Hey, Sheik. By the way, Ruto is very thankful. There. Message sent. Did Ruto want to thank me? I see. We have to re uh, we have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too. Don't we? Look at that, Nero. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroy the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. All is I uh, all is as it was here. Yay! Very nice. Hey, wait! Well. Man, that guy just vanishes out of no- Oh, come on! He's on top of the tree! Are you kidding me? Going for a swim, K thinks bye. Okay. Fine by me. Okay, so I really hope I do this right because I don't have any more arrows. I suggest doing this after the Yep, did it right. Alright, so I suggest doing that after the water temple, because pretty much you're right where you need to be at the right time. Essentially, you need to stand in front of this little, the little uh, pedestal that I'm standing in front of. And it pretty much tells you to fire an arrow at the sun. Or, let's actually read it. Just because people probably might want me, they might want me to. When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. So pretty much once Lake Hylia returns back to normal, shoot an arrow at the sun, and then you get this little trinket over here. You get the fire arrow! Heck yeah! So yeah, there's an upgrade to the arrows. Awesome! And by the looks of it, we have two more! Ooh. Yeah, so... We have a few more things to collect before our whole screen is filled. So, before I end off this video, I want to show you, I believe, one last thing. Yeah, just one last thing. Or maybe two. Regardless, this is going to be an episode that's a lot longer than the previous two episodes, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. I can do what I want. This is my YouTube channel, and I have unlimited time. As long as it doesn't go over two gigabytes, which pretty much would be about an hour-long video for me, and I'm pretty sure I would never do that unless it's like the ending of a Let's Play or something, and it would be like 45 minutes, hopefully. Okay, so... Get away from me, birds! I don't like birds! Birds are... The bird is not the word! Oh, yay, more arrows! Hot dog! Anyways, take out your ocarina, and let's try playing our old Scarecrow song. So, for me, it would be the Konami code. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Let's look for someone who might know something about the other stages. Okay. Uh. The thing about these songs is that sometimes they don't exactly work where you're exactly standing. this works. Goodness gracious. Uh, maybe I need to actually talk to the other scarecrow who's over here. Or, yeah, he's still here. Hey! Aren't you that fairy? Aren't you the fairy buddy I met a long time ago? Wow! You grew, dude! Well, here's your song. What? 
No, I never forget. You. You're the one who forgot, aren't you? If you play an ocarina, play that song, baby. Okay, so I think that finally unlocks the ability to actually use the... Uh, to actually use the song. So, I guess I was just standing in front of this guy's house for no apparent reason until I actually realized what the heck I was even supposed to do. But anyways. Hopefully this actually works. Are you serious? Are you actually kidding me? You know what? I'll... Erg. You know, I'll just come back and do that part later. Anyways, if you come inside the lakeside laboratory, jump in the water with your iron boots equipped, we can go down here, get some stuff, and get some rupees. Oh my gosh, it's a shark! And it's not really anything. What's this? A golden sculpture right in the water. Blamo, it's mine. For some odd reason, I thought there was going to be a piece of heart down here, but I guess it was just the golden sculpture. Fine by me. Okay. So, in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we're... I don't know. We're, we might do a little bit of collecting of s some items. We might just go straight towards story stuff. I don't know. Regardless, we're going to be doing more stuff next time in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm Crimson Nero. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode as well as the series so far. And I hope to see you next time in the next episode. Until then, everyone, fare thee well.